Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about a program um, called Recall Box. Now, Recall Box is more like a retro gaming system that you can use to play like PlayStation 1, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 3DO, stuff like that. Um, normally, it would fit onto a USB flash drive. But, if you want to add games to that, then you actually need something a little bit bigger. Now, you can see I have my laptop here with Windows 7 on it. Um, it is not plugged in, so it is running off the battery. Now, what I did was I have one of these hidden hard drive caddies. I put a 160 gig hard drive in here, and I used my Etcher program, the same program I use for all my Linux versions. Now, I slid this in. And I'm using Windows to do this. So I slid this in, I started Etcher, I picked the ISO file, and when it came up to select where to put it, usually it picks the USB drive automatically. It did pick this up automatically. This is a 160 gig hard drive, and this is what I installed it on. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut my system down. then I'm going to stick this in. Now I do have this for a reason. I'm not sure. Um, there are numerous vid videos on how to add games to this using networking, Wi-Fi, whatever. I've never actually tried to install games with a USB stick, so we're going to see if that'll work. Now I'm going to slide this in. I'm going to boot I hit F12, I have a Dell. Now here, internal HD, modular, bay HD, you want to go to the modular bay. Right there. Now this does take, and there's recall box. Hit enter. Now I do have a controller plugged in. You can set up your controller on this. I'm not going to go through all that. But I wanted you to see that you can actually install this on a larger hard drive or a hard drive and not just on a flash drive. Okay, uh, Recall Box does have some games pre installed. Like I said, I've never tried to actually install games with a USB flash drive. I don't think it'll work uh, with Windows. I don't know if it'll work using a USB flash drive. I've never tried that. Now this will take a little bit to load. Um, it can take up to 10 minutes to actually load this. Okay, so be patient with it. That loaded pretty quick. Okay, now this shows your gaming systems. Now, like I said, this has some games on it. Now, you pretty much need to set your controller up before you can actually do anything with this. So, it's a real pain to set all this up. See, the up and down won't work. The start, select, controller settings. and my batteries actually and the problem is I actually haven't figured out how to get my controller to set up on this um, I haven't watched a lot of videos on this I haven't actually even tried this this is the first time I'm trying this start button does work unfortunately I'm not exactly sure what to hit to make it go into controller so let's keep trying. And I can figure up to five controllers. So I'm hitting the number four button over here. Um, that's not working. 
triangle doesn't work. Ah, so it is the X button to configure your controller. Configure. Game pad detected. Up. Down. Left. Right. Well, left. Right. Come on. And it doesn't seem to be wanting to go right, so. Up. Ah, that's what the problem is. Okay. So let's cancel this. Let's go up here. Let's cancel this. Uh, A, B, X, Y, A, B, X, Y, start, select. Um, Alright, here we go. Let's go back up here. Up, down. Okay, that'll hook it up for here. We, we're not hooking up the joystick on this. Maybe that's why. Page up and page down, I'm not going to do. L2. R2. Get up there. L3. R2 R3 Hotkey, I'm not going to worry about Okay Alright, here we go Close Now you can go through all this up here and set up your game settings and updates. Um, I'm not going to do anything about this. Close. Now I hit the number two or back to go back out there. Classic Donkey Kong. Let's see what happens. This is, can be a little bit confusing. Uh, press start. And this is not on Windows. This is actually its own complete setup. Um, I actually stink at Donkey Kong, so you have to forgive me on this. Um, how high can I get? Probably not very high. Wow, I am so dead. <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, I'm not sure how to exit this. Uh, let's see. There we go. I just hit EXC. Now I'm going to hit spacebar. Uh, this shows you all kinds of names. I hit the back button. There we go. I hit spacebar. And I'm going to shut down the system. Of course I want to shut down. Anyway, that's how you use that. I'm not even going to try to figure out how to put games on with this because, well, I mean, you can go online and figure out how to use the games. I'm sorry about the video getting blurry. Um, it happened when I shut my laptop off. Let's start this back up. Maybe that will clear it up some. That should boot right into Windows. Well, Windows 7 right there. I have XP, you know. So, yeah. That would actually work as a retro gaming system on another hard drive. You don't have to install it on a flash drive. You can install it on a hard drive. And leave your Windows operating system installed at the same time. So, anyway, I apologize for the quality jumping in and out. Um, it fading. Uh, my camera's really kind of close.
so anyway uh, that's it and I'll see you again on a different video